Hello and welcome to this quick guide on how to optimize Outriders. This guide will show you how to boost your FPS, improve quality and performance, and in turn, fix any lag or any FPS drops that you might be seeing while playing Outriders. We're gonna go through a few simple steps that show the best settings to apply in Windows, as well as in-game Outriders released with a variety of issues. So hopefully this video will help fix some of those problems too. So without further ado, let's Let's get started. First of all, I'll go over the fixes and workarounds for the most important known issues affecting players. You can actually find these on the Outriders subreddit. Now, if you're only here for the optimization settings, then you can jump to this timestamp shown now to get started from step one. Anyway, issue where the UI HUD disappears. If this is happening to you, then return to the lobby, disable all interface options, then re-enter back into the game and activate activate the interface options whilst in the game. Lots of players are reporting this is the way to fix it. Stuttering and frame rate drop issues. The image shown here shows all known possible workarounds. Disable Ansel. For those of you that don't know, Ansel is the name of the fancy photo mode overlay inside the NVIDIA GeForce experience. And it can be switched off in the settings very easily. Disable DLSS. This is done in the settings in-game. Turn VSync off. Also done in the settings in game play in windowed mode also done via the settings in game enable your fps limiter and choose various limits to see if improvements are made exclude the outriders folder in windows defender so i would say just pause the video here and follow the guide on the screen in order to apply this the issue with blurry and smudgy visuals switching off the fps limiter does make a difference but it isn't enough for outriders to look how it looked in the demo on red it. Lots of people are also reporting turning off VSync and switching off HDR mode might help you. There are other issues which are being worked on by the devs to try and get it patched up. Things like crossplay issues, inventory problems, hard crashes, problems when using controllers on PC, keybind problems, among a few others. I would recommend you keep an eye out on the subreddit or on Twitter for announcements and fixes coming soon. Now let's go over the best settings for your PC step by step. Step 1. Clean out your shader cache. This should always be the first thing you do. There's a link in the description for a video that will show you how you do that. Step 2. To ensure you get the most out of your PC whilst you game, I highly advise and recommend that you switch off every overlay and background application. Things like Steam, Nvidia GeForce, Xbox Game Bar, Discord, even River Tuna, and any others that could affect performance. This is mostly for players with a low-end gaming system that need all the power they can get. And also, anyone experiencing issues with Outriders should definitely try and experiment to see if doing any of these helps get rid of any of the issues. To turn the Steam overlay off, just go into Steam settings, click in game, and untick the box that says enable the Steam overlay while in game. To turn off the Nvidia GeForce overlay, open up your Nvidia GeForce experience, click on the settings icon, go to general, switch off the in game overlay. For Xbox Game Bar, using the window search bar, type in game mode settings. Click on the icon. Once the window is open, navigate to the left side and click Xbox Game Bar. And of course, set it to off. Then navigate back to the left and click on captures, where you need to switch off background recording and recorded audio. The Xbox Game Bar overlay is really quite heavy on the PC system. So if you wish to use an application to record yourself playing and to record your game time, I would definitely recommend stick to the NVIDIA GeForce experience. For Discord, all you need to do is open settings and on the left select overlay. You'll then just need to disable the option that says enable in-game overlay. After you've done that, navigate to advanced and make sure hardware acceleration is set to off as this actually uses GPU power to run Discord. Step 3. In the window search bar, type in game mode and click the settings icon. Once the window pops up, ensure game mode is set to on. The game mode setting prevents system background activities from affecting your gameplay. Things like Windows updates and notifications from background apps during your game time, and it will ensure that you avoid slowdowns and low frame rates while you play. It's unlikely that you'll have this setting off, but it's good to check just in case. Step 4. Navigate back to the 
the Windows search bar and type in graphics settings and click the icon. Now in here, you should see an option for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now this needs to be set to on. And if it wasn't, you will need to restart your PC after you turn it on. Once you've done that, navigate down to graphics performance preference. And here you'll want to add Outriders to your list. So to do this, firstly, minimize the window, then open up Steam, go over to your library, right click on Outriders, click on properties, then click local files, and then click browse. What you then want to do is copy the directory link, which is where your game is installed. Once you've done that, close Steam down, navigate back to your graphic settings window, click browse, and you'll want to paste the link to the address bar at the top. Then find the application icon for Outriders and simply add it to your graphics list. Finally, click on Options and then set it to High Performance. Finish off by clicking Save. Step 5. Using Windows search bar once again, type in Power Plan and click Edit Power Plan. At the very top, click Power Options and under Preferred Plans ensure that High Performance is selected. Step 6. We'll now dive into the game and change a couple of things. We'll start with a display tab window mode should be set to full screen as always resolution needs to be set as your monitor's native resolution if you have an rtx graphics card then dlss should be set to quality seems to be the best option i would recommend both vsync and the fps limiter should be set to off as this is causing the blurry visuals issue but if that's not happening to you then setting the fps limiter to your screen's refresh rate should stop any stuff problems. Everything else is really down to your own personal preference, but I would recommend having your field of view on a low number and motion blur switched off. Now moving on to the display advanced tab, effects quality seems to work best at medium or high texture quality. If you have a GPU with more than 4GB of VRAM, you should set it to ultra, no problems there. If you only have up to 2GB of VRAM, then set it to low. If you have 2 to 3GB of VRAM, then set it it to medium and three to four gigabytes set it to high for shadow quality i would say low or medium as it seems to give you a nice boost to fps compared to high or ultra you'll be able to change anti-aliasing if your gpu does not have the lss which is the case with me i would say medium or high is what you should go for for post process quality select medium view distance quality medium foliage quality i would say medium or high of course these settings really depend on your pc so definitely play around and see what works best for you and for your own system. I really hope this guide helps you in some way or another. Hopefully there will be some fixes and patches coming soon that address the issues that people are having with the game. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments section. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Goodbye.